Hi, hello, welcome to Spell Day. We're covering a spell every single day of the year from the 5 E P H B plus 3. Those plus 3 spells are homebrew spells. We are at plus 3 at the moment. You can head back in the playlist to find them. And today's spell is Windwalk. Does not go... It doesn't do that, does it? No. It doesn't go... No, it doesn't do any of that. It goes... Six level transmutation, casting time of one minute and range of 30 feet, components verbal somatic material, fire, and holy water, duration eight hours. You and up to 10 willing creatures you can see within range assume a gaseous form for the duration, appearing as wisps of cloud. While in this cloud form, a creature has a flying speed of 300 feet and has resistance to damage from non-magical weapons. The only actions a creature can take in this form are the dash action or to revert to its normal form. Reverting takes one minute, during which time a creature is incapacitated and can't move. Until the spell ends, a creature can revert to cloud form, which also requires the one minute transformation. If a creature is in cloud form and flying when the effect ends, the creature descends 60 feet per round for one minute until it lands, which it does safely. If it can't land after one minute, the creature falls the remaining distance. Three hundred feet! Okay, so a variety of things. <laughs> this isn't really a combat spell. No, this is a stealth or travel spell. Because just the in-combat use, it takes a full minute to either enter or exit combat, and in that entire time, you're incapacitated and can't move. Which, okay, yeah, they don't have advantage to hit you, but you can't do any action. Or move, you are a sitting duck. So unless you have some other defensive spell to try and block it, or you hid in some cover somewhere, you're just target practice. It's also not the best getaway spell, because it does take a full minute to cast. It's 30 feet and up to 10 creatures, that's a good amount. Sixth level? But the thing is, uh, what I got this mixed up with uh, when I was first going over fly, which I still hold a lot of my opinions on it, when I was talking about the distances you could travel with that. How to put it, my perception over how far a creature can fly has been twisted by my party, uh, by my most recent campaign's use of gaseous form. Sorry, windwalk, not gaseous form, windwalk. Yeah, you're watching this now, you know who you are. <laughs> but for the number we're about to talk about, this has to take into account that in gaseous form, or not gaseous form, but in Windwalk, uh, you don't take exhaustion when dashing for the full duration. Because... So, if you can dash, you're moving 600 feet per turn for 8 hours, not concentration. That is 288... Wait, no. No. Um... 2 million... 800... An 80,000 feet, uh, which adds up to 516 miles. That's 16 miles over project image. <laughs> we have the benefit that it's sixth level. We have that benefit. You can't quickly cast this, it takes a minute to head in and out of the effect, unless, you know, the spell just ends, but you can't dismiss it as an action, you can just leave it. There's no quick dismissal which allows you to drop into combat. You have to slowly, or time it to the 8 hours, but then slowly over a minute. Stand still, let the effect wear off. Well, not wear off, but just, you know, shift back to full form, shift back into windwalk. There's also the resistances to non-magic damage, you can't really do anything else because you are intangible. And it doesn't say you can't make attacks because it limits the two things you can do to the dash and try to shift back. So again, this is just a travel spell. Really. Or sneak around, because you are also in a gaseous form. It's gaseous form kind of baked into this if we accept that ruling. Because I've actually seen it both ways of people saying like, yes, it says gaseous form, but this is just for the sake of you being allowed to travel. Meanwhile, gaseous form the spell allows you to go and like sift through cracks and everything else. Either or. Depends how you read it. Six level, not concentration, eight hours. That's fast. Well, it's fast, but then also it's a long range, 500 miles. Yeah, you have things like teleport, tree stride, but this, if you're not scrying a location ahead of time or you can't scry a location ahead of time, this allows you just to immediately travel to a specific location. No messing around with needing a plant nearby or teleport going haywire. You just travel there fly up a bit it's because okay big thing with fly it's concentration only 10 minutes so you have to be focusing on that the fact that this is not concentration and allows you to shift in and out you could just 
like a lot of people doing with water walk or water breathing, cast this ahead of time or at the start of a day or when you're first entering a dungeon, and it's just on you. You just take a minute to shift back and be able to have 300 foot flying speed. 600 if you dash. Plane of air, just cast this ahead of time. You don't always need it, but being able to instantly be able to then just dash over to another island somewhere, head up to a tower, bottom of a castle, especially if it's the castle's form, pass through walls, grates, etc. That's if you read it that way. And then as well, to boot, at the end of the spell, if it's not already building in gaseous form on 10 different creatures, it's also Featherfall. I mean, yes, only to the ones that are already under this effect and when the eight hours runs out, but still, that's pretty nice. You can entirely run the clock eight hours, and then you have a minute of gentle downtime. After that minute, you do just fall. 10 out of 10. Because even though a teleport can take you to another point and you can scry to another point over time, I've had players cast this, I mean, and you, I already called them out in this video, because they're like, oh, we don't know where this object is, we just know it's in that direction. <laughs> so we'll just spend, like, six hours flying at, I don't know what speeds, I, I don't know what mocks are. Um, you know. 600 feet per second. <laughs> I know, per turn, so... Still, that's 100 feet per second. That's, far, that's fast. Anywho, heading over there, being able to scout out ahead of time, and just voluntarily being able to exit or enter it again gives you great utility when just in an area with a lot of verticality or needing to book somewhere quickly, like on the other end of a city in the middle of a siege. It, it's got utility inside, outside of combat. Well, not combat itself, but just maneuvering around combat or maneuvering outside of combat. And just the fact it's not concentration doesn't have a gold cost component, is a ridiculous amount of movement. <laughs> 10 out of 10.